Right. Um, so this is this is quite a big question, isn't it? We've got to integrate that integral using two different methods. So show that the substitution transforms it to that. So we're integrating. Is that frozen? We're integrating from 2 to 5, 5 minus x over 2 plus root x minus 1 dx. Now, um, use the substitution u equals root x minus 1. Now, I just want to say at this point, jo I, I, I've helped one or two of you do this just now. And, and Joel in particular got a long way through this. And at this stage here, he found du by dx. He wrote x minus 1 all to the power of a half and did du by dx and worked through from there. It's great, it's fine, it works. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to write u squared is x minus 1. So x is u squared plus 1. And I'm going to find dx by du. Because dx by du equals 2u. Okay? So dx is 2u du. Now, if you had done it the other way, as John did, I may as well show you this. You get du by dx. Because you're doing x minus 1 all to the half, you get a half. <coughs> x minus 1 to the minus a half. So du by dx is 1 over 2 root x minus 1. But root x minus 1 is u, so that's 1 over 2u. So actually, we're kind of at the same point anyway, aren't we? And you end up with 2u du equals dx from that. And that's a slightly more efficient way of, of getting to it. But e either way is fine. Uh, we, we've got to change the limits as well, haven't we? So we've also got to do, if x equals 2, u equals the square root of 2 minus 1, which is 1. And if x equals 5, u is the square root of 5 minus 1, which is 2, which gives us the integral from 1 to 2 of... Right, so now let's do some switching round of things. Um, 5 minus x... Well, hang on, what have we got here? x is u squared plus 1. So that top line is 5 minus u squared plus 1. The bottom line is 2 plus u. And then we're replacing dx with 2u du. Like that. Now it's looking quite neat because what we've got is the integral from 1 to 2 of... I, I really like this bit. There's a really nice moment coming up. We've got 5 minus 1, so that's 4 minus u squared over 2 plus u times 2u du. Which isn't looking that much nicer until you spot that 4 minus u squared factorises as 2 minus u times 2 plus u. Aha! So the 2 plus u cancels with that 2 plus u that was down there, leaving us with the integral from 1 to 2 of 2 minus u times 2u du, and I've lost track of what I'm supposed to be showing. It's supposed to be showing it was 4u minus 2u squared, so there we go, that's what we've got, which is the integral from 1 to 2 of 4u minus 2u squared du. And there we are. Um, that was quite tough, wasn't it? And hence find the exact value of the integral. We've not even finished. So now we have to integrate that. 4u squared over 2 minus 2u cubed over 3 between 1 and 2. Well, it's a lovely straightforward integral now, which is... That's 2u squared, isn't it? So that's 2 times 2 squared minus 2 times 8 over 3. Take away 2 minus 2 thirds, which gives us some stuff. What have we got? We've got uh, 8 
we take away two, so we've got six, and then we've got sixteen thirds plus another. Oh, hang on. Minus sixteen thirds plus two thirds is minus fourteen thirds, and so that is four thirds. Because six is eighteen thirds. And there we got our answer. Okay, this this was all a bit fiddly in there, but it, it was all right in the end. Now, um, part two: simplify. So we now got we're going in a different direction now. Simplify two plus root x minus one times two minus root x minus one. Well, there's a common theme of difference of two squares going on here, isn't there? That we've again got a difference of two squares form. We've got a plus b times a minus b, which gives us two squared minus root x minus one squared, which is that, which is five minus x. So there we go. That's that's all we had to do for the first couple of marks from that, or the first mark. Was it one mark? Yep. By first multiplying the numerator and denominator of that by this, find the exact value of i. So we're back to our integral again, but this time, in part b, we are doing 5 minus x over 2 plus root x minus 1. And we're multiplying it by 2 minus root x minus 1 over 2 minus root x minus 1. I think that's, that's what they've asked us to do, isn't it? Which we now know gives us 5 minus x on the bottom, 5 minus x on the top, and 2 minus root x minus 1 up there as well. So this time the 5 minus x cancels out, leaving us with 2 minus root x minus 1. So our integral that we were supposed to be doing is now the integral from 2 to 5 of 2 minus x minus 1 to the half dx. And there's no substitutions or anything to do here. This is just a really standard integral. It is 2x. Now if we integrate this, we're going to add 1 to the power. And divide by the new power, so we're dividing by 3 over 2, which is like multiplying by 2 over 3, between 2 and 5. And hopefully, if we sub the limits in... Did it ask for the limits in that question? It did. It said evaluate the same integral, find the exact value of i, and i was defined as that. So we're going to sub in the limits and get 10 minus... 2 thirds of 4 to the 3 over 2 minus 4 minus 2 thirds of 1 to the 3 over 2 which you could probably just stick in your calculator if you really wanted to what we've got, we've got 10 to the 4, so we've got 6 there and 4 to the 3 over 2, that's 4 square rooted is 2, cubed is 8 so that is minus 16 over 3 and here we've also got, as we expected, the plus 2 over 3. So it ends up being exactly the same, doesn't it? We've got 4, take away 14 thirds. So 18 thirds, take away 14 thirds is the required 4 thirds. It's a nice feeling when you get the same answer for both of them. But a horrible feeling if you get different answers for both of them. Right. Maths and stuff. <laughs>